What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the Mage, Veil. Vale. Veil has a good set area of effect, crowd control, and burst skills. Our Wind Talker, Veil, vale, is a Mage hero. I consider Veil vale as a flexible Mage since his passive skill, Wind Talk, gives you the freedom to enhance your skills with additional effects. You can either enhance a skill with additional crowd control effects, or enhance it with additional magic damage. These effects will be explained later on. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Veil based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Veil's passive. Wind Talk gives enhanced effects on Veil's skill depending on his level. When reaching level 4, 6, or 8, you can enhance one of his skills. There are two options of enhancement for each skill. Each skill can only be enhanced once, so make sure to choose wisely, because you have to bear the enhancement all throughout the game. I will explain each skill's enhancement later when we tackle those skills. Veil gains a stack of wind talk each time he kills, or assists to kill an enemy. Each stack provides a certain amount of movement speed. This skill can be stacked up to 12 times. Veil's first skill, Wind Blade, lets Veil unleash two wind blades towards the left and right of the designated area. This deals magic damage to the enemy when hit by the blades. Now, Let's talk about its enhancement by his passive skill. His passive lets you choose an enhancement between increasing the area of damage or increasing the damage of this skill. Choosing an enhancement will change the icon of the skill. It also changes the color of the skill effect. His second skill, Wind Blow unleashes a whirlwind towards the specified direction. Magic flows as freely as the wind. This deals a certain amount of magic damage and slows enemies down when it hits an enemy unit. His passive lets you choose an enhancement between adding a stop on hit effect or knock up effect to this skill. The stop on hit effect lingers on the enemies hit by this skill and deals magic damage for a short period of time. The knock up effect knocks up the enemies hit by this skill. Choosing an enhancement will change the icon of the skill. It also changes the color of the skill effect. Veil's ultimate skill, Windstorm, summons a windstorm in a designated area. After 1.5 seconds, the windstorm will explode, dealing magic damage to the enemies in the area of explosion. His passive lets you choose an enhancement between increasing the damage dealt by this skill, or add a crowd control effect to this skill. The crowd control effect will pull all the enemies to the center of the windstorm upon casting it. The storm is coming. Our turret has been destroyed. Choosing an enhancement will change the icon of the skill. It also changes the color of the skill effect. There are so many items that you can buy for Veil. Vale. You can either focus on cooldown items, or items that gives you high magic power and magic penetration. For me, I choose to buy items that grants cooldown reduction, magic penetration, and health points. As for starting item, you can consider buying Lightning Truncheon. This item will help you deal more burst damage. This item gives you magic power, mana, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive will deal magic damage to your target and two other enemies when you use a skill. This unique passive has a short cooldown. Buying magic items, such as arcane boots, will grant you additional magic penetration and movement speed. Magic penetration lets you pierce through the target's magic defense. You might want to consider holy crystal, 
This item gives you additional magic power. Its unique passive grants you additional 25% of your magic power. Another unique passive of this item grants you additional 15% magic damage after using a skill hitting a target. Your next skill will terminate the effect. This effect only lasts for 3 seconds, and it has a 10 seconds cooldown. Another item to keep in your tab is Fleeting Time. This item grants you additional magic power and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants your ultimate skills cooldown to be instantly reduced by 35% after an elimination or an assist. This is really good since Vale can kill enemies easily and assist on team fights, making his ultimate skills cooldown reduced instantly. You can also consider Divine Glaive. This item grants magic power. Its unique effect grants a certain percentage of magic penetration on your skills. In addition, its unique passive grants extra magic penetration when your HP is above a certain amount. Lastly, you can consider Blood Wings. This grants you magic power and health points. Its unique passive adds health points for every points of magic power added to Veil. The item build for Veil really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in game. Spell to be used on Veil is Flicker. This can really help you survive team fights. Even death, it can also help you chase enemies or attack enemies by surprise. This is really a must since Veil, which is a mage hero, is most likely to be targeted by assassins and fighters. You can depend on the movement speed granted by your passive skill. But it's best to have Flicker so you can blink through walls. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the custom mage emblem set. Custom Mage Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a mage. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting observation to max level will provide additional magic penetration on your skills. Higher magic penetration deals more magic damage to enemies. That means, your skills will be more explosive. Get Impure Rage to deal extra damage depending on the enemy's current HP. Impure Rage also restores your mana. For me, it's the best thing to get since Impure Rage has only 5 seconds cooldown. This makes his skills more powerful with Impure Rage since it has low cooldown. The mana restored by Impure Rage helps you to avoid buying items with high mana region. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage higher and cooldown lower. That means, you can deal more damage to the target with this skill. Prioritize second skill less since his first skill is what you need for burst damage. Always upgrade his ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of enhancing your skills, this really depends on your playing style and the enemy's lineup. But for the Kurumi way, I enhance my ultimate skill first with the area control enhancement. This will ensure our advantage during team fights. I enhance my second skill next with a knockup enhancement. This will help on crowd control as well. Lastly, I enhance my first skill with the additional damage enhancement. This will ensure dealing burst damage during team fights. Your passive skill really enhances your skills. You can adapt your enhancements on the enemy's lineup. If your team needs a burst mage, then set the enhancements to additional magic damage. If your team needs a crowd control mage, then set your second skill and ultimate skill enhancement to crowd control. Just make sure your decision is final when enhancing, since enhancements of skill will last all throughout the game. During the early game, you can use your first skill to harass enemies or clear lanes faster. Your first skill has a long range. You can use this to kill dying enemies from afar. Just make sure to aim properly. Just you pick the additional damage enhancement, since you can aim this properly when the enemies are slowed or gathered together by your ultimate skill. Your second skill is a game changer. Using this skill on early game will only deal magic damage and movement speed reduction to enemies. But with the knockup enhancement, enemies will be sent up to the sky, further delaying their advancement or escape. Your ultimate deals heavy damage to the designated area when it explodes after 1.5 seconds. With the area effect enhancement of pulling enemies towards the center, this could really turn team fights to your advantage. 
Just imagine if you were able to hit multiple enemies with your ultimate. All of your area of effect skills, including your teammates, will bring wrath upon the enemies. There are lots of combos that you can use with Veil. Vale. With the enhancement, you can adapt it to be effective against your enemies. But for the Kurumi way, I usually follow a set of combo. When going in team fights with a teammate that has a crowd control, I usually follow this combo. First, I use my ultimate instantly. This is to ensure that the enemies will be gathered in one spot. Then, I use my second skill to further delay their escape from the center of the storm. Then, I use my first skill to deal more burst damage to the enemies. This way, one or two enemies have been already eliminated, giving the advantage to your team. Now in terms of going in team fights as the initiator, I usually follow this combo. First, I use my second skill. Since you have Holy Crystal, your second skill triggered the bonus magic damage. Then I use my ultimate skill afterwards. Casting your ultimate will have boosted magic damage. With the slow effect of your second skill, this will further delay their escape from the center of the storm. Then I cast my first skill to deal burst damage. This is also a sure hit when the enemies are being pulled to the center of the storm. Enemies will now say, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stork. Additional tip. With the tremendous power of your crowd controlling skills, you are destined to be targeted by the enemies first. So, better keep your distance from the enemies. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Veil. Vale. This video just guides you on how to use Veil, vale, the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Veil. Vale. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Ears.